Welcome to the Mic Shop Creator. With this tool, you can build complex shops in under one minute without writing a single line of code. We'll open the menu, create a shop, place the pad exactly where we want using the mouse, and add any products we need. And that's not all, the creator includes many more features. You can assign the shop to a player so they can run their own business, enable robberies for the store, add a blip, set up logs, and much more. Let's get started. We open the shop creator menu and click on create shop. We enter the name we want, then go to the locations section. Click add location, choose the name for the pad, and then we can either type the coordinates manually or use set by cursor. With that option, we simply place the pad exactly where we want, and that's it. Simple and easy. Next, we move on to the blips. We enable them, choose the color, size, and sprite, and set the name we want to appear on the map. There's also a button at the bottom that takes you to the official blip documentation page, where you can see all the available options and how they work. Once everything is set, the blip will appear on the map. Now, let's take a look at the product section. We can add as many products as we want by clicking Add Product. Inside, we simply set the item ID, the label, the price, the category, and the payment type, whether it's cash, bank, or black money. We can also add any combinations we want. Once the product is created, we open the shop in game, and it will appear there, ready to be purchased. Now let's move on to the robbery section. Once we enable it, we set the cooldown. This is the time players must wait before the shop can be robbed again, and during that period the shop cannot be used to make purchases. Next, we set the duration, which is how long the player needs to aim at the pad to receive the rewards. Then we click Add Reward. We can choose between items or money. For items, we enter the item name and the amount. For money, we set the amount and the payment type, bank, cash, or black money. We can add as many rewards as we want. Once everything is configured, we just aim at the shop's pet in game. A progress bar will appear, showing the robbery progress, and after it finishes, we receive the reward. Meanwhile, police officers are notified and can respond at any time. Now let's move on to ownership. Inside the shop creator, we enable ownership and enter the Discord ID of the player, who will own the shop. From that moment, when that player opens the shop, they'll see a settings wheel. Inside it, they can change the shop's name, hire employees, and add their own products. When they click Add Product, they'll see a list of the items they currently have in their inventory along with their quantities. They can set the stock amount, the price, and the payment type. Once that's done, the product will appear in the shop for everyone. Every time a player buys something, the stock decreases. The owner can then go to the vault section, check the money the shop has generated, and withdraw it. They can also restock their products at any time. Now let's see how owners can add employees to their shops. They click Add Employee, and a list of nearby players will appear with their names and IDs. Once the owner selects a player, that player will receive a message asking them to accept or decline the job. If they accept, they're added to the employee list. The owner can also change the percentage an employee earns from each sale. For example, if we set it to 15%, the employee will earn 15% of every sale, while the owner keeps the remaining 85%. Let's test it. We buy several items, and as we can see, the owner receives most of the money. Meanwhile, when employee opens the shop settings, they can check their own vault and see the percentage they earned from the sale. Employees can also add stock and products, but they cannot change the shop's name or hire new employees. Now we move on to the log section. We enable the webhook and paste our webhook URL. Once that's set, every time someone buys from the shop, adds stock, removes stock, or robs the store, a detailed message will be sent to that webhook automatically. Now, let's take another look at the location section. For each shop, we can easily add as many locations as we want. In the Locations tab, we click Add Location and place it wherever we need. Both locations will stay fully synchronized with each other. This also works perfectly even if the shop has ownership enabled. Okay, now let's set up shop restrictions. We enable it and choose the job and rank that are allowed to open the shop. If a player doesn't have that job, they won't be able to access it. We can also add multiple jobs that have permission to use the shop. Now let's take a quick look at the config.lua. Here we can set the language, choose the framework, and select the interaction system along with its radius. We can also define the default shopkeeper pad, the command to open the shop creator menu, and the path for inventory images. Screenshots for webhooks can be enabled, and we can set the distance at which peds spawn. We can define shop categories, blacklist weapons that can't be used in robberies, and set which jobs are notified during a robbery. Finally, we can choose whether police alerts use the default system or a custom one.